This video is about synovial joints and ligament classification. We're going to start by drawing two very simple bones. This is the distal end of one bone and the proximal end of another bone. You can see that in a synovial joint, these bones have a space in between them. They do not touch. This is partly what allows for so much movement at synovial joints. Another characteristic of synovial joints is that the ends of the bones will be lined with articular cartilage. Articular cartilage will help with shock absorption and friction reduction during movements when the bones will touch. Surrounding the bones, we will find the synovial membrane. The synovial membrane surrounds the synovial cavity, which is the space, which is filled with synovial fluid. Now I'm going to go ahead and sketch in the fibrous joint capsule, which surrounds all of the structures we've just talked about. This will surround the ends of the bones on all sides, binding them together. In some areas, the fibrous joint capsule is thinner, and in some areas it's thicker. So we're just going to draw a thickening of this fibrous joint capsule on the left side of this particular joint. And that thickening can now be labeled as an intrinsic ligament. Now if we take our simple example and turn it into a knee joint, now we'd be looking at femur, tibia, and fibula. We'll get to see an example of an extrinsic ligament. So here we have a ligament running from the femur to the head of the fibula that is not a part of the fibrous joint capsule and is therefore classified as being extrinsic.